Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about two of the most common VPN protocols, and they are OpenVPN and WireGuard. Now, if you don't know what a VPN protocol is, it's basically a set of rules that's going to determine how the data is transmitted through the VPN. So just an illustration here of how this works. You have your computer, you have your VPN client, whether it's something like ExpressVPN, NordVPN, or Surfshark. These are the three VPNs that I'm going to be discussing in this video because in my opinion, they are three of the best VPNs out there. More on that later in the video. But you're going to have your VPN client. That's going to be one of those three VPNs. And that VPN is going to create something called a VPN tunnel using the protocol, whether it's OpenVPN or WireGuard. And all of your data is going to go through that tunnel and become encrypted. And nobody, whether it's the government, hackers, your internet service provider, or with these VPNs, even the VPN itself is going to be able to access that information. From there, your data will make its way over to the VPN server, which you will select in the VPN itself. And then it will go over to the internet and any data coming back will go backwards through the same steps over here. So for example, let's say we were using NordVPN. I would go over to the VPN right here and click on a server, let's say in Madrid. I'll click on that to connect. I'll be connecting up to a server in Spain using whichever protocol it is, whether OpenVPN or in NordVPN's case, NordLynx. And now when I go over to the internet, everything that I do, all the information that I send to the internet is going to go through the VPN tunnel created by NordVPN over to the server in Spain and then finally to the destination I'm trying to reach. So it's the VPN protocol that's going to create that secure pathway from my device, whether it's my computer or my smartphone, over to that VPN server, which in this case is in Madrid. And if you're wondering where you'd be able to find the protocol with NordVPN, you would just go to the settings over here, go to connection, and when you click on that, you'll see right at the top VPN protocol and you have NordLynx, which is a form of WireGuard, more on that later. And then you have OpenVPN, TCP and UDP. So what is the difference between WireGuard or NordLynx and OpenVPN, TCP and UDP? So OpenVPN is the older of the two protocols. It was initially released in 2001. And because it has been around for so long, it's very widely supported and has been checked out and audited many times and shown that it is very secure. On top of that, OpenVPN also supports a lot of different features. Like you saw, there are two different types of OpenVPN. TCP and UDP. And those are basically kinds of like sub protocols, TCP being the more reliable form of OpenVPN. It's not going to be as fast, but it will be available across more networks and is also going to be better if you're doing something that needs every single bit of data that you're transferring to reach its destination. So something like file transfers for that, you would probably want to choose TCP. On the other hand, UDP may not be as available across as many networks, and it also may not be the best if you need every single little piece of data that you're transferring to reach this destination, but it is going to be considerably faster. So OpenVPN will give you both of those options. OpenVPN will also support something called obfuscation, which means that the VPN itself can hide the fact that you're even using a VPN. And that can be really useful if you're accessing a website that tries to detect and block VPN usage, or if you're on a network that's very restrictive and tries to censor VPNs, having obfuscation in your VPN can hide the fact that you're even using one to begin with. But again, that's only something that's gonna be available in OpenVPN. So while you will get all of these added features, it all makes OpenVPN much slower compared to WireGuard. WireGuard is much simpler, much smaller, much less code compared to OpenVPN. It's also newer, being released in 2015, so it's a bit more modern, and it's just overall gonna be a lot faster. That was pretty much what it was designed for, to be a much faster version of OpenVPN. Now, because of that, WireGuard is only going to use UDP. You won't be able to use it with TCP, so you will be somewhat limited in terms of how many networks you can use WireGuard with. It's not as widely supported as OpenVPN, and also it will not support obfuscation. So in a nutshell, WireGuard was built for speed above all else. They were trying to make a really fast protocol, and that's been backed up by a lot of testing. WireGuard pretty much always comes out as the faster protocol 
when compared with OpenVPN. And I even did some of my own tests. OpenVPN on Nord came out with just a 132 megabytes per second download speed, whereas Nord Lynx was more than twice that at 372, and Surfshark's WireGuard was even faster than that at 447. And that was just my tests. You may get different results, but regardless, OpenVPN will probably almost definitely be slower than WireGuard. So now you might be wondering, why does NordVPN call it NordLynx, even though I said before, it's pretty much a WireGuard protocol. What's the difference? Why did they change the name? So the reason for that is going to be tied to how a protocol works. Like I said before, a protocol is going to be involved in creating that VPN tunnel, securing and encrypting your data between the VPN, which is on your device, and the VPN server that you're connecting to. But that's pretty much where the protocol stops. It's built mainly for encrypting and keeping your data safe, but not necessarily private. And what I mean by that is that you can technically use OpenVPN or WireGuard by yourself without a VPN like NordVPN or ExpressVPN. If you have another server, you can have OpenVPN or WireGuard on your device connecting directly up to the VPN server with the VPN tunnel, and you don't even need a third-party client like like NordVPN. And doing that will get you the security and the protection that a VPN protocol offers. The thing is, it's not going to give you the privacy. It's not going to hide your IP address. And any website that you visit on the internet will see the IP address of that VPN server. So if you did want to get that privacy and hide your IP address, that's where a VPN client like NordVPN or ExpressVPN will come in. You'll be able to connect to different locations and get a new IP address. And because WireGuard is simpler than OpenVPN, the VPN provider itself needs to put in a bit more on their end in order to ensure that your IP address is going to be hidden properly. And that's why NordVPN calls their own version of WireGuard NordLynx because they had to do some modifications to WireGuard in order to make sure that your IP address is going to be properly hidden and ensure that you have a high level of privacy. And even though Surfshark still just calls it WireGuard, if you go to the settings over here, VPN settings, protocol, WireGuard, right? They offer WireGuard and also OpenVPN, TCP, and UDP. They just call it WireGuard, but they still have also done the same privacy measures to ensure that your IP address is going to be properly hidden. And while I'm talking about Surfshark and WireGuard and the fact that you're only going to get UDP servers with WireGuard and the VPNs themselves will have to modify it in order to properly hide your IP address. There is another thing which I said earlier. So while VPN clients like Surfshark and NordVPN are going to be faster using their WireGuard or WireGuard equivalent protocol, you will only be able to use the UDP sub protocol as it were. And they also need to do their own modifications to the WireGuard protocol in order to make sure that you have the right level of privacy privacy and properly hide your IP address. And on top of that, like I said earlier, WireGuard does not support obfuscation. So you will need to choose the OpenVPN protocol if you want an obfuscated connection. And that'll be true both with NordVPN and with Surfshark. Now, one last thing I wanted to talk about was ExpressVPN. Express does not use WireGuard. If you go to their protocols, you will see that they have a lightweight UDP and TCP and OpenVPN UDP and TCP. So what is lightweight? Is it WireGuard? Is it OpenVPN? Well, the answer is it's neither. It's ExpressVPN's own protocol that they built themselves. And what they did is create a protocol that has the advantages of both OpenVPN and WireGuard. So when it comes to privacy and hiding your IP address, Lightway does it without needing any other external modifications like Nord Lynx. You get both TCP and UDP with Lightway and it has obfuscation built in. You don't even need to do anything. You don't need to make sure you have the right protocol selected. You'll have the speed of WireGuard with the obfuscation of OpenVPN in one protocol. And Lightway is fast. I said before that Surfshark was the fastest protocol with a download speed of 447. Well, when I tested Express Lightway, it was actually faster than even that, giving me 479. And in Cloudflare's tests, video streaming, online gaming, and video chatting all scored the highest score of great with Express Lightway. So while all three of these are really good options, whether you want to go with Express, NordVPN, or Surfshark, they'll all give you really fast speeds using their preferred protocol, whether it's WireGuard or Lightway. 
I personally feel that ExpressVPN's Lightway is the best of them because you're going to get the advantages of OpenVPN being able to use TCP and UGP and have obfuscation. And you'll also get the advantage of WireGuard with the really fast speeds that it offers all combined into one protocol that they built themselves called Lightway. And if you're wondering about security, the core of Lightway's code it is open source and available on GitHub for auditing. If you would ask me to rate these VPNs, I would say that ExpressVPN comes in at number one, NordVPN at number two, but ultimately the choice of which VPN to go with is yours and yours alone. So if you want more information about each of these VPNs, I'll be sure to have full in-depth reviews in the description below. And if you wanted to try any of them out, I'll also have discount links for you in the description that will save you some extra money on any of these VPNs. So feel free to do more research, figure out which one is the best for you. But I hope that at the very least that this video helped clarify the topic of protocols and OpenVPN and WireGuard. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Have an amazing day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.